Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a common engine code that many of you might have come across, the dreaded PO331 code. This code indicates knock sensor to circuit range, performance bank 2. Sounds complex, right? But don't worry. In this video, I'll walk you through what this code means, its common causes, and how you can fix it yourself. Let's get started. So first, what exactly does the PO331 code mean? Essentially, this code refers to an issue with the knock sensor on your engine's bank too. The knock sensor detects engine knocking or pinging, a noise that occurs when fuel burns unevenly. If this sensor detects something unusual, it sends a signal to your car's EQ, which triggers the PO331 code. When the knock sensor fails, the engine can lose performance and efficiency, and you might experience symptoms like poor fuel economy, sluggish acceleration, or even pinging noises from the engine. Faulty knock sensor. Over time, the knock sensor can wear out or fail. Damaged wiring or connectors. Corroded or broken wiring can cause issues with the knock sensor signal. Engine mechanical problems. Sometimes, engine issues like a misfire can trigger the knock sensor ECM issues. In rare cases, the ECM itself could be at fault. Tools you'll need. OBD to scanner. Multimeter. Ratchet set. Torque wrench. Replacement knock sensor if needed. Locate the knock sensor, which is usually mounted on the engine block or intake manifold. With your multimeter, check the resistance between the two terminals of the knock sensor. The resistance should be within the manufacturer's specified range, usually between 93 and 100 ohms for most vehicles. If the resistance is off, the sensor is bad and needs replacing. Once you've replaced the sensor and checked the wiring, reconnect your OBD to scanner. To clear the PO331 code, start the engine and take it for a test drive to make sure the check engine light stays off. And there you have it, we successfully diagnosed and fixed the PO331 knock sensor. Malfunction, remember, if you're not comfortable working on your car, it's always a good idea to take it to a professional, but with the right tools and a little know-how, this is a repair that most dyers can handle. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more automotive repair content. See you next time.